been kissed by a dog. I have dog germs. Get hot water. Get some disinfectant. Now that's a scene from A Charlie Brown Christmas. That, of course, is a made-for-TV production. We see most of the Peanuts gang in TV specials, particularly around the holidays. As far as feature film goes, there are five in the Peanuts franchise, including a film that premiered back in 2015, a slightly different look for the characters. The most recent Peanuts special is all about Marcy, the smart brunette. Her special premiered on Apple TV Plus on Friday. But could there be more Peanuts movies in the future? The son of the famed cartoonist and creator of Peanuts, Charles M. Schultz, his son is named Craig, says never say never. That is your entertainment report here in Hollywood. I'm Sam Rubin. That's exciting stuff. Four dollars per movie? Yeah, they're yes. bringing back like the old classics. Yeah. I love it, love it, love it. Y'all know me as someone who's always finding ways to ball on budget <laughs> and save some money. This yeah. is a must do. And you can even go do Barmenheimer again since you slept through the first time and you could see it for less than the price of one ticket. She has a good memory, doesn't she? Yeah, I, I actually was thinking that too when we were watching this. I was like, yeah, both we, got, we gotta ask Danielle again what she thought about you Barbie You know what, guys? If you take advantage of this, I'll go with you because okay. you're right. I fell asleep during the first too. Yeah. What well, can you, I say? You could go see the Ninja Turtles movie too, <laughs> too. if you want to oh, check that out. Once again, maybe you're not sold on. I don't know if I want to <laughs> buy a ticket to these movies. At four dollars, come on, might yeah. as well. Even awesome. if you do the the Barbenheimer thing, that's still cheaper for both of them <laughs> yes. than it is for one ticket exactly. normally. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I yeah. love it. It's Gotta Jessica approved. I know. Yes. I'm really bad at going to the theater <laughs> to the point where like I'm part of that cinema club mm -hmm. and I had eight tickets. <gasps> Don't like tell me accumulated, that. which was eight months of not going to a theater. So this is my address. <laughs> <laughs> you can mail it. Yeah, so it was, it was just really not good. <laughs> but, oh my goodness. Yeah, this would be a good way to go. All right, well, if you're just joining us, it's 5.30 a.m. <laughs> Thank you for sticking here with us. I'm Adam Cardona. I'm meteorologist Jessica Kirk. And I'm lifestyle host Danielle Bonda. Hey, All guys. Right. Hey, <laughs> well, I know you have been here way earlier than usual. Yes, I've been here a little bit earlier than usual. Yeah. So, you know, I'm a little tired, but <laughs> drinking that coffee, eating those snacks, yeah. Staying awake for you guys because we have Tropical Storm Harold, of course. That's a big story of the day. That's it is. pretty much the biggest thing we have going yeah. on right and, now. And you know, it is exciting to <laughs> yes. hear rain because yes. we haven't seen rain yes. or at least this amount of rain and, in a minute. And that is something worth mentioning is this isn't all bad news. We're not expecting any major severe weather. We're expecting a lot of rain. This is great. We need this. We're in a pretty severe to moderate drought, depending on where you fall across the valley. We do have tropical storm warning. That's for northern Dalgo, for all of Wilsey, and for coastal Cameron County. Now, just because you're not in the warning does not mean you're not going to get some rain and doesn't mean that you couldn't necessarily see a little bit of gusty winds out there. Let's take a look at the conditions right now across the valley. When you see the green and yellow, you're looking at some light to moderate rainfall. The heavier stuff is all the red you see. A lot of that passed through Wilsey County. It looks like maybe we have some